camera rolling, baby. Let's go. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. What's good, y'all? We got another episode of Culture Content coming to y'all. You heard? Um, we already, we more than two months in, you know what I mean? But uh, we got more heat. Another special guest with us, my guy. Uh, we've known each other for a while, you know what I mean? Right. But uh, my, guy, my guy, Clinton Valentine, you know what I mean, is in the building with us today. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got our big man. We do, but we do, but you know what I'm hold, saying? Hold, 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 hold. Let's get him right. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's turn it out for him. Let's... One more time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's fuck. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I got a little too hype. About to start cursing and all that. Right? You know, a little too soon. You know what I mean? When you're feeling good and when you with good people, you know what I mean? You just get a little carried away sometimes. Right, right, you know what right, I mean? Right, so, man. Um, yeah, man. My guy Clinton. What's going on with you, sir? Uh, you know, man. Chilling, living life, you know. I, I feel just you, trying man. Trying to take it to the next level. That's yeah. it. That's it. Level Keep up. it going. That's it. Good to That's have it. you in the That's building it. with you us, know man. So, you know, we're going to talk about the business. Um, yo, this is... This is a living testament or testimony. Mm -hmm. um, we know that a lot of people got uh, laid off during the pandemic. Um, and we previously discussed, I've like dropped your name. I haven't dropped your name, but okay. I've dropped your story a couple times or use you as an example mm -hmm. okay. on a couple other episodes. So it's good to have a face with the story, with the, yeah, I the guess. Story for sure. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. So Appreciate yeah, like, yo, he, he, he's a really and I am positive. A corona baby. Yeah. <laughs> As far as business, as, as far, far as, as business, business. <laughs> yeah, he's a Corona baby. Like yeah, how I was working and then um, started his own business, and uh, it's just been great to see his elevation, man. In this past year, you know, there's a lot of black-owned businesses that started, and um, he's literally one of them. You know right. what I mean? Successful, doing what he does, and um, you know, not gonna drop all the gems and the jewels. You know what I mean? We'll work our way into it, yeah, but just know that. Your man's is, is is on point. You know what I mean. Your man's is here to talk about the business and and how you started um, and get your mind right for all the people who's trying to be entrepreneurs out there and um, basically show the world that you know it's possible. You know you can do it. So um, without further ado, my man Clinton Valentine, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So. Um, yeah, I mean, you want to start it off, bro? No, I mean, so, I mean, you could tell us a little bit about what you do. All right. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Um, tell us how you get to it. Okay, so uh, basically, I'm an all-around entrepreneur, but I started uh, my entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. you know, as they would say, with uh, a landscaping company, Valentine Landscaping, and, yeah. um, you know, just focusing on scaling that, taking it say to it the next level. Valentine Landscaping. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, let's go. Respect that name. Respect yeah, that shit. <laughs> Wait, real quick, bro. Um, just tell us how you got the name. Um, it's, it's, it's simple to me, you know what I mean. But yeah, just so I mean, origin, you know, real quick. It, it's basically it's basically the last name I needed a a, a staple in, in the community and just. So, you know what I mean? Legacy. You know, that's what we're chasing mm -hmm. right now. Legacy. So, Ooh. basically, that's what I wanted to put a stamp on by naming it Valentine Landscaping. I, I like that. You know what I mean? Because your last name is Valentine, and then you just... It, it's funny because your last name fits with a lot of things. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> we just got to talk about it right, right before like, you You know what I mean? Too. Yeah, and it just fit. Valentine Landscaping. And to me, you know what I mean? It's like, yo, you... If you love your Valentine, if you love your Valentine, not Valentine. If you love your landscaping, yeah. you know what I mean. Like call nah. Valentine Landscaping. You know what I mean. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, and become a lawn lover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know Say, become a lawn lover today. Yeah, That's what's up. So you, you know, you do landscaping. You're a full time entrepreneur now. You know what I'm saying. And obviously, unfortunately, you got you know laid off during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, tell me what was the biggest mindset um, shift you had to make from being a full time employee. To being a full time boss now. Okay, so so basically, um, and I, and I gotta give them shout outs, but um, if you know the hip hop preacher Eric Thomas mm -hmm. and Pastor Brian from Macedonia on the Hill District, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, basically at, at that point in time when things was you know what I mean, now I want to say crumbling, but you know what I mean, everybody's running around Corona. I was like, let me get closer to my faith let me let me get a jump start on mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and then i'm like i need way more structure 
way more discipline. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Than just living wild, living in this, just living any type of way was giving me. So mm-hmm. that's how I got in touch with uh, Eric Thomas, who's a motivational speaker. Okay. And basically, you know, one day they both said the same thing in service. He said, "Use your gift. God gives you multiple gifts." Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. Preacher said, "Listen, yeah, I mean, obviously you ain't meant to be an employee. You know what I mean? In the situation you're in, it's time. Basically, it's time to level up. God wants way more. Needs everybody to be living in abundance, and you know what I mean. And, and that's the mindset that day." I said, listen, I'm not going to listen to these podcasts no more for entertainment. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, oh, you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, but you doing this down and there. I said, shit, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> you motherfucking, Talk about after you. work, you yeah. want to just sit down, but you want a million dollars, but you don't want to do no research yeah. after work. I said, yeah. shit, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Check it off the list like, damn. And, cup, and cup, then cup, next thing you times. know, you see me at the loss on break. Mm-hmm. Research. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. After work, research, late night, early morning. Research and you know what I mean. Now that literally got me where I'm at today. That That's was the good, mindset man. change that put me in the ain't no more entertainment. This is you. How you gonna validate your life and your legacy? So yeah. you knew that you know you had to make that shift from you know not just sitting around, but you know doing that putting that hard research on to you know make that next jump. No, that's in, what addition, in addition to you know all the other stuff that was going on, so mm-hmm. that's what's up, man. And you definitely need that research. Research is key. I right. promise you. And to further prove that, yo, if you're trying to make a million dollars, it ain't gonna be with your eight to five job or your nine no. to five job. Absolutely you know not. I mean? Definitely like, not. Your work starts after work. You know what I, I mean? Like, <laughs> the beginning process just, definitely starts after, man. Because you you can't give. I said this a couple times, man, and I'm gonna keep saying it. You can't give. 40 hours to your job and then not work 40 hours on yourself. However right. much time you need, you, you need to work on your, yourself just as much as you work for somebody else. Sure, they you actually have to do it even more. more. Yeah, hey, li- I part. was just about even to more, say, I like, ain't never work seven days straight, 12 hour shifts. <laughs> right, 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 right. But <laughs> it's all worth it though because oh you work it right. It's your business. Yeah. It's exactly. Your yeah. You don't want to put the difference. blocks that's in place statement. in order mm-hmm. to get where you need to go. So like that's extremely commendable and I'm proud of you, man. That's a fact. That's right. Right. I appreciate for sure. Living testimony with us. We got like, Oh, it's gonna be a good episode. All right, but let's go. Um, <laughs> yo, so you you said you you know you you had the epiphany, you know what I mean, that you needed to work harder and stuff like that. Why landscaping though? You know what I mean, like because you so, could have did anything. But. So I'm gonna be honest with you, and this is I only told about two people this, and this is gonna blow people's minds about mm-hmm. the whole situation, especially a lot of people that know me, and that's that. My friend, I mean, I said my friend, my brother Reese, mm-hmm. he used to cut his grandma's yard. Um, as like a chore, but also um, like to get his allowance, you would say, when we was 12, 13 years old. 100%. Before last year, that's the last time I cut grass. <laughs> wow. The wow. thing is, like I said, Eric, Eric Thomas said, Yo, use your gift. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And at the time when I had got laid, laid off, um, I'm like, what can I use? You know what I mean? What gift can I use? You know what I mean? I had a cleaning company at the time, but for one, you know what I mean? The Corona started, so not too many people wanted you inside. Mm -hmm. And then on the other note, beforehand, when I didn't have the mindset, Mm -hmm. I spent a lot of time telling people I had a cleaning company and I actually running my cleaning company. Mm -hmm. So that's why you've never heard of it. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, once I put two and two together... I said, I literally right now can afford to go buy me a lawnmower, a weed whacker, and a blower. Mm-hmm. I went to Home Depot, flip spent $700, you know what I mean? Spent $700 literally mm. on a, the week that the cheapest weed whacker you can find, blower, yeah. Yeah. and I spent a little bit of money on the lawnmower. Yeah, right. Yeah. I said, yeah. Yo, 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 that's the yo, get right. <laughs> No, I said... <laughs> Seriously. You can't be in the middle of a job if you're yeah, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, but yeah, so basically, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? That that's how I chose landscaping. Like it okay. it wasn't like you know what I mean? I had years of experience, like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That would have been maintenance, you know what I right, mean? Right, 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 right. That would have made more sense. But like, yeah, I'm yeah, like uh, I'm like, first of all, Eric Thomas said, you know what I mean, get find something that's corona proof. I'm outside. Right. 
Mm-hmm. We got cash out. We now. outside. We got Zell now. We outside. We, you don't need to. If you don't, you don't gotta pass me cash. Shit, they you got. Can, the, you, you can, can Facetime me what you want done. You can get your iPhone, in, but they got the little square joint. The little you square you can yeah. swipe your card. Oh, oh, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, it's real snazzy the technology. Yeah, so, yeah, that's for sure. So basically, that that's how I got to that point. Okay, that's okay. Up, so we established that um, you've been in business for. About a year, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, you came over, up, yeah, a little bit, over, yeah, definitely over a year. Mm-hmm. You came up during the pandemic, um, and so my, my question is, you didn't, like you said, you didn't do landscaping previously, Mm-mm. you know what I mean? And you were working a full time job, so you basically, not basically, you started from the bottom. Um, what marketing strategies did you use to put yourself out there? Because um, we had a previous episode where we talked about different things. You know, we gave the people a little, you know. Yeah, branding and marketing. Uh, mar- branding and marketing. Make sure you go check that episode out. But um, we want to uh, we want to know what what strategy, strategy did you use, um, like I said, just to get your business out there, get you more revenue, and um, just start booming for real. Okay, so <clears throat> basically, like I said, my, my business research led me um to even put a spotlight on marketing and then mm-hmm. once that once that took place then i just went research crazy you know what i mean okay. then i found out um i had just put a video about this actually but i just found out that colors mean certain things right. um you know uh just the type of wording that you use the type of invitation the type of continuously you know what i mean um like a lot of people don't like to use flyers no more. I use every mm-hmm. single angle. You could listen. You gonna be on? I send my customers during the winter time gifts. Just you know what I mean. I mean appreciation. that's appreciation gifts yeah. actually, mm-hmm. but it's also like I sent them candles. Mm-hmm. How many times do you think it's gonna take that candle to go before right, right, right. Valentine? Right, 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 right. Right. Valentine. <laughs> every time they like that. Oh yeah, I got this. So they see your name. They you know subconsciously right. you're feeding them your name exactly over and over again. And, and the oh, thing, did, you, did you give them a lighter with the Valentine one or two? Or? Absolutely not. Oh, I didn't. Man. That was yeah. good. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We're going to get us some Valentine uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. light as soon. So, yeah, you in, the works, I mean? in the works, yeah. <laughs> I definitely appreciate that. But um, And then I have to lead back to Eric Thomas because, like I said, he was a big uh, engine starter for me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And his biggest thing is add and value. So since I start thinking outside the box, I'm like, add and value just don't mean add and value. Like, you got to really understand mm-hmm. it. So... There was a situation, um, and this is the first time I told somebody I'm giving them an exclusive. It's okay. You know it's right? only on culture content. You know what we, I mean? we like exclusives. What do we Go say? Ahead. You heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here first. You already know. <laughs> so the way I added value, everybody everybody gets genuine value, but the intentions of the value is different, you know? Mm-hmm. So there's business owners in this city, right? They have businesses on main main streets. I got a I got a BP in, in East Hills, the East Hills area, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The craziest thing is, I do that gas station for free. Mm. Okay. You want to know why? Okay. You wanna, why? So, the add and value becomes in is, that mm-hmm. lot cost him about $100, $100 a cut. That's mm-hmm. $200 through the season, and in Pittsburgh, you're probably talking about two, three grand that they would spend mm-hmm. on just getting their lot cut. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's two, three grand back in their pocket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then people were like, so what's in it for you? Over four or 5,000 cars right past that gas station a day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not to talk numbers, but I've made three times that number I just told you off of that sign. Mm. Just off of Bronyans. So, That's, wait, wait, wait. So, so, yeah, yeah, break so it down. I got, so, <laughs> but what I got understood was you doing it for free, but he is allowing you to put... Now your promote, sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. promote yourself on his, on his property. And then to tell y'all the truth, yeah. It, and I'm giving some gems away right yeah. now. It's but like, if y'all really want to think about it, just put it like this: the cheapest billboard is a thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I was only going. I'm only giving him. He's giving two hundred. I'm mm-hmm. paying two hundred for a billboard. Right. Four or five thousand cars a day. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Every day, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I'm reaching over uh, over a hundred thousand people see me, maybe in a month or two months span. Yeah, right. For sure. Just for that sign. And you then, feel me? So you you do the work for free at BP, and then he allows you to promote your brand, your business on his on his property, mm-hmm. and then because he has so much traffic, that's really how you make your money on the back end. 
Right. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of people can't get over the fact of, oh, no, I'm charging, I'm charging. I'm... If you add value, my man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you add value. Listen, now the guests, and, and you know what I mean? They're of different cultures, so they, and they still love me. They bring me out drinks and all that, you know what I mean? Even though that's just a, but they're not even thinking perks. about it. Yeah, yeah. they you don't even I mean? see how much money they actually bring. Exactly. Well, ho- you know, whatever. Hopefully, they don't hate and see see this episode and, yeah. like, <laughs> and try to switch up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. So you, we got your marketing strategy, which is brilliant. By the Dope, way, I like you it. know what I mean. Like a lot of people are not thinking outside the box, but it's super innovative. Um, you did break down some numbers. But um, for the people who are interested into starting their own business and possibly getting into landscape, what do some of those figures look like? Whether it be on a month or weekly basis, give us give us a monthly basis. You know what I mean? So uh, now nah, I'm a, the, all right. I got you. Oh, so how about break it and, down. and and this is this is easy because there ain't enough month, there ain't enough uh, landscapers in the city to take over everything. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? Because some people. <laughs> Some some people leave the business like oh he's doing good like bro there's a hundred people over there that need their grass cut where you going right 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 you know what I mean come back come back right 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 (laughs) but uh, so just put it like this at a minimum of forty a hundred yards a month is eight grand Mm -hmm. and that's yards cut that's not including mulch jobs rocks jobs um, in the future retaining walls which we don't do currently but we will be doing next season. Um, that don't include tree removal. That's eight grand off of a hundred yards cut. That's a month. And then, let me tell you, it, and that's really cutting fifty because you're doing it twice. Mm. You cut them every two weeks. weeks right. Ooh, that's a hundred grand, bro. Ah, easy. Oh, so you know what I mean? <laughs> My guy, that's what's up. Yeah. Bro. That's so, what's up. so that's just some small figures for real because the landscaping, the yard cutting is really the bottom of the barrel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The, the, the hard skate, stuff, the, the concrete, the, the tree motion. removal. Yeah, 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 not yeah. even really the motion, but it's more so Why the hard skate. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. But yeah, that's, that's how works. yeah. So that one part can bring you so much you didn't even and the other stuff you they even tap into fully yet. Like you didn't even dive into like the No, motion. absolutely Dude, not. You get a basic cut for right. eight grand a month, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy, yeah, I mean, but like that just shows you right there, like the job that you had before would never. Oh my pay god! That same salary, you know. I'm gonna be mean? honest with y'all. I mean, just just, just one more, uh, you know what I mean? Because like I I put a post up about this because I said when I go to dinner with bosses, we don't talk numbers, mm-hmm. but um, you know, we just talk about legacy and wealth, and that leads to it. But right, right, right. People yeah. don't understand, that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hundred percent. But but bro, I'm talking about in in, in a seven hour. It, one time in a seven hour day off a of most job, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I made thirteen, thirteen hundred. You know what I mean? I've never made thirteen hundred working eighty hours. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And For a job. Yeah, I've never bro. did that, bro. I, you know what I mean? So And then once you make that thirteen hundred, it's like I'm gonna only make more what can the I next do? day. What can I do well, to how can I sustain that? You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Bro. Every day. Why would I ever go back to work? Bro? And that and that's where that's where the um, the marketing come back in. That's how I sustain it because, like I tell people, those signs ain't there just to make money. They're right. also there to comfort people, to ensure people, like, no, nah, he's everywhere. Right, right, right. Exactly. We ain't going to be the only. He ain't just a weirdo coming to my house and only my house. Mm-hmm. He's everywhere. He's there. He's there. His signs is everywhere. So I could be comfortable enough to be like, I'm calling a professional company. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's another reason why I love that them signs is there. Right, that's right. excellent. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you attach yourself with BP and Come people on, already know that's a well established. <laughs> I, I'm just man. trying to bring it full circle, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's brilliant, yeah, though. It's man. brilliant, yo. You, you definitely you? deserve your flowers, bro. Like, I mean, from where you, I mean, we've known each other for a while. You know what I'm saying? So it is definitely good to see you. You know what I mean? Doing what you do. Like, I remember when you pulled up on me with the truck, and I'm like, Clint, <laughs> <laughs> that is on. Like, who is that? And he looking at you, looking at your side mirror, and I'm looking like. We looking at each other trying to figure no, out who we I'm like, oh, but it was it was definitely good to see you. No, nah, for sure, bro. Thing, no, bro, hundred percent. Before I do that, because he was like, he pissed on the side of somebody's crib. You feel what I'm saying? So I gotta, uh, I got basically, gotcha. bro. I want to get them. Is we on? No, you yeah, we're going. Uh, I want to basically, I want to get them to the point where they be like, you know what I mean? I, they people know I got this program going. So if they see that, they're not about to be like, 
Valentine landscape and it's fucking horrible and they got people pissing on the side yeah, of the crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now when it's structured around, no, these literally are young men coming to be mentored. So if anything happens, they're mon- your young men being mentored. Right, right, right. You feel what I'm saying? saying? And you're not blaming the company like, you know what I mean? And I really ain't got that far into it yet. But that's mm-hmm. good that you even trying to no, speak to the happen, youth bro. and all that because that's what we about. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to put the young adults on and show them that, you know, our past does not have to define our futures. Sure. You know what I mean? And that we all came from somewhere here, whether it be the streets, drugs, whatever the case is, you know. But we here now. You are your own owner. We both have our own in- individual businesses. You know what I mean? So it's always more than the streets. No, nah, for so, sure. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving your story, bro. But yeah. we back with it. You know what I mean? Quick we back, baby. Intermission. You know what I'm saying? But uh, still got Clinton Valentine with with us of CEO of Valentine Landscaping. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Let's get that clarified for y'all. My man, my man. You know what I mean? Shout you out. We gonna promote you. And your man's first off. You know, I know you had a question, bro. But you just came straight from a job. So oh, that's yeah. what I said. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Put we the weed whacker that. up. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to go. That's 100%, bro. So just real quick before I forget, man, appreciate you for coming through. And I know you had a busy nah, schedule, sure. but you squeezed us in and, you know, you make this happen. So, yo, for love sure. is love, man. Appreciate you. No, nah, for sure. You know, so, yeah. So, yeah, what. but, um, you know, I know, you you know, you're doing a landscaping thing and, you know, you're doing your thing, man. And um, I'm loving what I'm hearing on camera and off camera. So, um, tell us some of the biggest um, wins you had and some of the biggest lessons you learned when you you know you came into this field and just dived into it and whatnot. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, they're actually two of the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> my biggest my my wins my biggest wins was basically the the mindset change. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people would think it got to do with the money or the how you're you could be free or it's the mindset change. Now I know. For sure, if I stay solid, my son gonna be solid. His son gonna be solid. They son's gonna be solid. Now, down, now I know if I continue to go hard, I could change the mindsets in the community. To you know what I mean, uh, uh, drug dealers, rappers, and they ain't the only ones that's millionaires that's out here doing this down the third. Even though right. that is not like the actual lifestyle ain't one I want to praise because the process is what's gonna get you there. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of people trust they, your process. Like you feel what I'm saying? No, you good. Yeah, you good. Yeah, yeah. So um, basically, the mindset shift, and like I said in the beginning, like actually, literally, like this is your life. Like mm-hmm. it ain't entertainment. Mm-hmm. Don't keep looking at it like that. Actually, intake it. Um, and what I always tell my son is, you gotta, you gotta learn it. You gotta learn it. You gotta apply it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You gotta get your results. Mm-hmm. And you have to share your results so we can change the culture. Because that's really why I built my whole company. Like, mm-hmm. like the mindset shift, the win is actually that. Like, you know what I mean? I got my purpose now. Like, I have to do this to change the culture. I have mm-hmm. to I, get them to understand. Like, there's way more than that. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that, that's my biggest win. The mindset shift. It had nothing else. Like, you if, know, I, if I wouldn't have had that, it, everything else would be obsolete. I liked how you um, was talking about, you know, just the mindset shift and you built a foundation. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm, what I also like is, you know, the money going to come. Man. If, you, if the foundation is right. And your work ethic is right. And the money's going to come. No, you know what I mean? So a lot of people don't realize that people chase the money and you're going to chase the money forever. Yeah. And, and you're still going to be, un- you might still be unhappy. No, that's a true statement. You. That's a true <laughs> statement. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I actually got that from, I got the... The focus on that and that'll come from Kobe because he's like bro I make money because I'm the best but I'm not the best because my name is Kobe he said when mm-hmm. when people was out here doing two a days I was doing four a days he definitely was doing four a days you know, well five a days I seen that joint yeah you, you feel what I'm saying he like, all day, all so night. he was like when the, when the, I mean he can do that for however long and but people people try to work out in the summer they can never catch up because he done did it for five six years four or five times a day for right. five, six years, and now you want to go hard in the summer. And once again, five years ahead. And that's the only time you're going hard, too. You right. Know, Listen. Oh, right. You know what I mean? And once again, it's he, like he said, his name didn't get him the money. The mm-hmm. process he went through. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, bro, you can't outwork me, so how are you going to be better than me? <laughs> right. <laughs> if I'm out going 12-hour shifts, bro, I know my man, my one man, bro, he... 
bro, it's three o'clock. We done. I said, bro, you ain't working for nobody else no more. Right, 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 right. right. This is what we got, bro. Yeah, we, all we got. Let's get bro, this we money. Got their, yeah, 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 a lot of yeah. people want the end result, though. Yeah, they want they the end result. Go through that, you know that I mean? process. But being Listen. an entrepreneur it means you work long days, long nights, man. There's no such thing as a nine to five. When your phone ring, your phone ring. You, your phone rings at bro. ten o'clock at night. You answering that thing. You know what I mean? But this like, is the, <laughs> the thing is, bro. You just, it ain't even a lifetime, bro. Mm-hmm. Once you put about three, four years of consistent mm-hmm. 120% execution in, mm-hmm. bro, now those long hours are spent by the beach on a computer. Call, call, you call found somebody to go, right. yo, you got to go over hey, here. Hey, bro, next. where yeah. you at? Right, right, they right. said you ain't there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that yard ain't cut, bro. You feel me? Don't oh, worry about right. me being in Santa Monica. Right, right. right. What are you talking about? <laughs> or Dubai or wherever. That's what I always there. tell people. I give you the job, handle the business. business. No, but that's what I was about yeah. to say. When I hire people, I always tell people, bro, like, bro, no, I tell people, no disrespect, but bro, you, you, I'm hiring you to work for me, not work with me. 100%. Because a lot of people think, I'll be in the truck, bro. They be out there working. They like, bro, what's going on? Why ain't you doing that? I said I did, bro. How you think you getting paid? Right, 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 right. right. I, I did the work, not, but I they forget the that. You know what I mean? I that's did the my work. material you're using to right. cut the grass. <laughs> like, <laughs> you said that's my shirt. Wait, I used the last I drove you here. Right. <laughs> Everything was laid out for you. What do you mean why I'm not working? You just got to do this job. And bro. I actually had somebody. I'm not going to lie. And Because I, I just mentioned this. So I'm, I'm a, a, a little bit more. But that that day when I made that off that seven hours. Yeah. That guy. You know what I mean? Actually, had got, I had to let him go because he called me two days later after I paid him. And said, bro, that was a thousand dollar job. I don't say that. You only mm-hmm. gave me ten dollars an hour. Wow. Man, y'all, I hired him that day and got him an Uber there. I said, bro, so really, it's more. Right, right, right. I had to pay the dub. Oh, my God. <laughs> For you gotta, your Uber. You got to change your mindset, yo. Your like, mindset. Yeah. You, you, when you work from somebody, you're not the CEO. That's just the boss makes the rules. Once you become your entrepreneur, once you put in that time, you know what I mean? Then you get to make those choices and, you know, you can regulate. You can be sitting up yeah. in the truck, like, Learn or the game, in Santa you Monica. Make suggestions. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Don't be half stepping and trying to get all the he benefits. Said, like, bro. like, come on. But see, the craziest thing is, but everything I research, even outside of that, when it comes to stocks and uh, getting the trust fund for your company, for your family, and, and uh, things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? And things <laughs> of that nature, bro. I teach, I teach that in the truck. Hundred mm, percent. When I learned from Wall Street Trapper, bro, I teach that in the truck. Mm-hmm. When I learned from him, five hundred and them about how to use your credit to uh, get cash rewards and then go on free vacations, bro, I teach that in the truck. That's 100%. So what a lot of people don't, bro, because the thing is, I don't want the broke mentality in the business, bro. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you went in and you able to eat while you eating with me, right, right, hundred percent. First of all, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Exactly. Feel me? Exactly. Cause I'm the type of boss, bro. Oh, oh, you got your bands right? Mm-hmm. All right we could go buy a property over here together. Then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Help you I out. T- get on your feet. Mm-hmm. You, know what I mean? you gotta pay it forward, man. That's you know it. what I mean? Pay it forward. Love is love, and that positive energy will always come back. That's yeah, I promise you. Full circle. So, um, real quick, um, so landscaping is obviously a seasonal job. Um, I got a couple ideas, but um, what happens when you know landscaping is no longer? available to cut you know what i mean so w- basically what are you doing what are you going to do in the winter months um to you know continue business or are you gonna you know or do you collect enough revenue to not have to work through the winter time or do you find an alternative route to bring more revenue in for the winter time so this year um because we did we did actually did stop last year mm-hmm. but this year uh, we're gonna be doing clean outs focusing on more um, uh, tree removals mm-hmm. uh, leaf removals is like crazy like a lot of people don't it, it actually make more money than actually grass cutting you feel what I'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because I mean you know massive areas yeah, it's gonna fall down and then Pittsburgh yeah. is just that type of city like you know what I mean I hate picking up my leaves bro. I promise you bro. <laughs> I promise you annoying. so that things and then a uh, partial revenue from this year will be invested in a, a, a cleaning franchise. Okay. Okay. So, because by next year, I want my, because, um, you know, the, of course, grass is not going to be full time during the winter time. So, 
my employees, I want them to be able to transition over to the cleaning side so that they'll still have their uh, 40 hours a week mm-hmm. and able to still provide for their family without 100%. me calling them like, look, we got a job on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, bro, we're we going to head to the building today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got the mm-hmm. equipment. It's all together, put up for the winter. Mm-hmm. Now we're shifting over here until snow removal come. That's what's That's up, bro. Saying. That's mm-hmm. a brilliant idea. Um, great answer, by the way. But uh, my next question was... Uh, since you started your business, you've been doing this uh, motivational Mondays. Uh, mm. If you haven't been Mr. watching CEO those, checking in. you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> the CEO checking in, Clinton Valentine. Yes, you yeah. know what I mean. Um, it's, it's brilliant. I, I've seen a couple of those. You know what I mean. I look forward to watching those because sometimes I need a word. You know what I mm-hmm. mean, just to hear some positive energy. Um, so yeah, what, what what got you started with motivational Mondays? So, once again, um, and I and I gotta give my man Et a shout out, bro. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Because tell them to pull up to culture content. Man. Yeah, listen, <laughs> time is not man. Que pasa, mi amigo? Come you know on, man. But uh, I'll let him know at the one hundred and twenty conference next week. Okay, okay, so I'm you slow. Know, but um, so basically, uh, what you what you basically said, um, he gave me what I need. He basically he put the battery in my pack in my back. You know what I mean? And the information that I got from him. I applied it and it worked mm-hmm. and it was genuine and it wasn't, you know, um, affecting nobody negatively. It was positivity. It was, yo, let's take it to the next level. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, listen, there's massive people out here in our culture. And you just said it actually. Mm-hmm. That's, you know what I mean? Scared to take the jump, scared to get started. It's like, look, I'm out here with y'all. And mm-hmm. I and I say what, what I be going through, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I'm like, look, what can I do? Because I did want to do a podcast, but that, it's a little bit more work than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, what can I do to get my message out there that I'm here for y'all? If y'all mm-hmm. need it, this is what it is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You you black, you try and get into business. Even if you ain't black, it's like... Just getting started, like I mean, mm-hmm. I got you. Like this is, I'm coming from the ground up. That's why That's I posted my picture because I started in the 04 expedition. Okay, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Bro, yeah, yeah you yeah, understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, listen, you can start. Yeah. Get up and do it. Exactly. Ain't no, you know what I mean? Ain't no, I gotta do. I gotta wait. Ain't no waiting. You know what I mean? You got. I gotta move here. Mm-hmm. Listen, all right. Well, then do your down. research now. Yeah. By the time down. you get there, and I actually when I went to my first meeting. That's when I found out that research and information was king because I went to a meeting for the franchise and everything that he was like saying, he are, I already knew. So I'm reciprocating it. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, we can skip past that shit. You already know it. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, my bad. I'm going to skip past that. You know what I mean? That, and then I took my, my mom with me. So that even made me feel better because when we left, she was like, I'm proud of you. I'm like, what for? She said, because that man knew he couldn't play around with you. 100%. And it was literally all off information. Mm-hmm. YouTubing, going on Google, reading a book. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, literally, about that before, if you apply the inf- like, they ain't putting this stuff out for no reason. Right, 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 right. 100%. You know what I mean? Yo, and talk, one thing talk, that I started to learn is that everybody that they think on social media ain't scammers, bro. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, oh, don't, the conferences, yeah. the conferences speed up the, speed up the success for real. Okay. I keep trying to tell people because I did massive research. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I still ain't nowhere, but I'm killing the game. So in five years, if I can speed up your process of having to do the same five years, like, look, this is what I did. Just down the third. You know what I mean? Cut but, that down to two. Okay. I mean, one. One, yeah. You understand what I'm she saying? What you do it. Yeah. This man's book got 12 years of research in it. Mm-hmm. Their conference, they're giving 20 years worth of research in it. Mm-hmm. The government, I, I, I mean... And I hate, I don't even, but look, I paid a lot of money for the ticket, mm-hmm. but the ticket, bro, they, they giving me information on government funding. If I take that government funding and make a million dollars off of it, Who what was the ticket? Was right. Yeah, yeah, now yeah, I'm yeah. paying for 10 people to come with me next time. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Taking the whole, taking everybody with me, you know? Look, short-term investments equal long-term success. Exactly. Every time. Yeah, and you in the stocks, but we can't talk about that. No, no, no. no. I ain't whole, too educated on that. That'll be a whole nother episode. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, we're we going to chop it up with you next time about some stocks. Word, you know what I'm huh? Stocks is the way. But, mm-hmm. you know, um, you've been doing your thing, man. You know, I like it. So, what do you see yourself in? You know, what's the vision for, for you um, and your company three to five years from now? Oh, so, uh, so basically, um, 
in the next three to four years, I just basically want to get it to the point where um, the the revenue, well, I, I'll say it so I can speak it into existence, is way over seven figures in three to five years. 100% And guys. the revenue that I'm able to become a resource instead of start looking for resources, like we said before, um, I want my business to be that. Mm-hmm. To be that staple in the community. Oh, we need this. They need uh, We got you. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's that's I'm building to give back, to bless others, to, to put others in position. And then to take that. And, and, and like I said, legacy is way more than one income. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know what I mean? Multiple streams so, of income. So that my it's company family. can have a foundation on top of a foundation. Now, like I said, in three to five years, we'll be taking revenue real estate we'll be taking revenue uh digital real estate we'll be taking revenue mm. you know what i mean mm. uh doing the, i, I want to do a franchise our shipping pack in north carolina oh yeah you go, understand what i'm saying go check out our like, latest you know episode so, nine, episode nine you know what i mean aaron gibson jr right don't forget, don't forget the, the junior, junior. <laughs> right. two parts two. two two parts yeah. that's what he's talking about our gems. shipping pack my butt go ahead yeah because you know what i mean because i mean we got a little circle but at the same token like I said, we we just trying to expose everything because the 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 intentions is genuine and it's all about it's giving back. If you execute at a high level over one hundred and twenty, because I never say one hundred percent, because that's average. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? If you execute at one hundred one hundred and twenty percent, you get abundance of you know what I mean. Things come in abundance. Things things come in the overflow. So. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You still get to live, but at the same time, I'm able to bless. You feel what I'm saying? I'm able to show massive love. I'm 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 able to just change lives, and that's the direction I'm headed towards. You know what I mean? That that that's, that's dope, the reason man. why I really built the company. You know what I mean? That's dope. To start doing it ourselves, build on our own, getting our own land, and just yeah, you know I mean, taking it to the next level. Generational wealth, man. We talk about the, our our whole. Podcast culture content is about generational, generational wealth. wealth. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? What we can do um, to put our kids light years ahead. Mm-hmm. What can we do today? Not tomorrow, not next week, but today to mm-hmm. put the people that we love ahead for the next 10 generations. Huh. True so, statement. You know, with everything that you dropped today was phenomenal. 100%, bro. Word. Appreciate so, you for coming through, man. Nah, you know, definitely. Definitely. So, Tell us where, they, where we can find you, uh, besides the BP. <laughs> uh, you can find me at, uh, on, on we got Valentine Landscaping on Facebook, Clinton Valentine on Facebook. Um, yeah, and then, you know. We'll put that at the bottom for you, yes, as sir. we always do. Yes, sir. Um, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got an Instagram coming coming soon, you know. I ain't got it right now. Right. Right. We'll, we'll get it together. It'll be on the Facebook progress. once it's, it's a, up. It's a work in progress, <laughs> man. We love yeah. to hear it, man. Like it's, like you said, we appreciate you for coming coming through. Sorry, yeah, the the website again. The website, yeah. The um, the for handles. Handles, yeah. handles. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that was like me. I said, I messed up. I uh, know you go uh, Valentine Landscaping and Clinton Valentine on Facebook alright on Facebook go yeah. check him out you know what I mean if you're in Pittsburgh definitely go book with him if you're driving past that BP you know his phone number you know <laughs> yeah, what I you mean you know it's real come on man we out here working man a true living testimony testimony to like yo it's possible um, real life employee gone to CEO during the pandemic you know what I mean making it happen um, and we love to hear it man on culture content, we talk about generational wealth, um, building wealth, entrepreneurship, and all the above, man. So we got another one, man. Another one in the bag. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Culture content. Another one in the bag. Bang. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. So I holla. You know what I'm saying? You gonna see us till next time. Money. <laughs> <laughs>